GitHub is one essential tool that any developer needs to have. It has version control and of course, all of your sources is stored in the cloud or online. This is good especially for in preventing losses of work assuming that your sh sh system crashes. GitHub is also quite good especially if you're working in a team or and you can just share and merge your code with other developers. I'm actually saying this in the point of view of a developer. But of course, GitHub makes it easy for other dev developers or devs to contribute to your project if ever you wanted to make it public. Um, since GitHub is also a version controlled, it can be quite easy to keep track of the changes done in your code across different versions. But for this video, what I'll be showing you is just how to create a repository from your local machine, make some changes, and push it in the cloud. And we're also going to do it vice versa from the cloud then try to clone it on our local machine but first i would like to thank everyone who have already subscribed to my channel as long as you guys are willing to learn programming and technology related topics i won't stop making video tutorials and reviews so please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and the bell notification button so that you will be notified every time a new content is uploaded so this is actually your um desktop that github so uh, since i'm using a windows uh, machine so all you can basically do is just download uh, the github desktop which i'll be showing you also um, shortly so um, the first thing that we need to do is uh, let me just try to navigate here on my github page okay so um, currently this is my github page so every time you uh, log into your github you will be redirected to this page um, on the left hand side you can also see all of my recent repositories so these are all of the projects that i have already pushed uh, in github so let's say for example you wanted to create a new repository so i'm going to click here create new then let's just try to name the repository as sample repo okay this is just for testing purposes now we're going to have here uh, sample repo now um you can set it to public or private once you set it to public anybody can actually download the project uh, on your public repository um if ever you set it to private then you can just uh, others cannot actually see what is in your repository so i'm just going to uh, set it to private okay then you can also add um a readme or git ignore or you can also choose a license so in our case i'm going to click here add a readme file then um click here okay i'm not going to uh click add dot git ignore then i'm just going to click here create a repository Okay, so I've already uh, created my uh, repository called Sample Repo. Now, if ever I wanted to uh, clone my repo to my local machine, okay, I'm going to click here, Code. Then I have here, Open it with Visual Studio. And since I've also um, synced or I've also uh, installed GitHub uh, on my Visual Studio. Okay. But I'll be using this time um, open with GitHub desktop. So I'm just going to click here open with GitHub desktop. Okay. Now, um, as you've noticed, my GitHub desktop is already or, or automatically open. So we have here um, from the source file, which is um, HTTPS github.com uh, slash my name. Then you have here sample underscore. <laughs> Now, uh, for your local path, you can actually change it uh, to your uh, desired destination. But in my case, since I wanted to store it on my web projects, okay, I'm going to click. I'm going to select here um, web projects and sample repo. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to select another location, okay, I'm just going to click choose. Then try to point it uh, anywhere you like on your local computer. So I'm just going to uh, have this one as is since I've already uh, pointed my uh, local path on this uh, particular folder. Xamp, hdocs, then I have here web projects, then um, sample repo. Then I'm going to click clone. Okay. So currently it's cloning. Now, 
okay, so currently I'm already on my sample repo. So this is actually on my local machine. Okay, so let me just try to show you already using my uh, Visual Studio Code. Let me just try to open my Visual Studio Code. Okay, I'm going to click here File, then Open Folder. Okay, uh, scroll it downwards. Uh, local DC XAMP HD Docs Web Projects. Okay, I have it here. Sample repo. Now, as you've noticed, the timestamp uh, today is um, 05 04 2022 11 19 a.m. Okay, so it's just recently create been created. Okay, so I'm going to double click then select folder. I will be asked by the uh, application or by Visual Studio Code if uh. I trust the author of this uh, a folder or the files of this folder. So I'm just going to click uh, yes, I trust the author. Now, since we only have one file here, um, readme.md, let's try to create an another file and then we can just push it also on our um, sample repo. Okay, I'm going to click here, file new, save. Okay, okay as you've noticed, um, I'm already inside my sample repo. I'm going to select here. Um, try to make it PHP. Okay, so index.php. Okay, then echo hello world. Okay. Uh, go back here. Okay. So we already have it here. Now I won't be using my uh, Visual Studio Code to push it uh, on our cloud. I'm just so going to use uh, my uh, GitHub application. Okay. So as you've noticed, uh, we already have here created a file. Okay. So we have here one file change. Then um, this is a new file. Okay. What we need. Okay, now uh, as you've also noticed, there's currently no file here except for readme.md. Okay, so let's try to commit to main. Okay, to committing to main. Then I'm going to push to origin. So currently it's pushing. Okay, so it's already pushed. Okay, next, it's us try to reload the page. Now you already have two files. Um, readme.md and we also have here um, create uh, we also have created here index.php now what about if we have already created our uh, folder or our repository locally then we wanted to push it um, online so uh, let's try to uh, use again the Visual Studio okay file then okay let's try to open folder now here I'm going to create right click and I'm going to click here new then folder call this one sample repo 2 okay okay then it's okay let's try to select this folder select folder now yes I trust the authors again okay so we already created it's currently a, an empty folder Okay, set so to go back to our um, uh, GitHub for desktop. Then we have here changes. Okay, we have here file. We need to click file. Then we have here clone repository. Okay, so repository for GitHub username. Okay, we can just try to leave it as is. Um, filter repository. Okay, I'm going to select. Uh, Choose path, choose. Select this one, then select. Okay. So if you're web projects, or I'm going to reload the page. Okay, so to reload the pages are all of the by the way, uh, all of the repository that is currently online. And um, I can actually select any of these and just try to clone it. Okay. But uh, in our case, what we need to do is we're going to uh, uh push what we have uh, already created locally then try to push it online okay so i'm going to click file again and then add local repository local path choose okay 
select this one, select folder. Okay. So, uh, okay, let me just try to repeat it again. So, I'm going to click File, then um, Add Local Repository. Okay. Then, uh, Choose. Okay. Then, um, we have here um, Sample Repo. I'm going to double click to select. So, this directory doesn't appear to be a Git directory. Would you like to create a repository? Create a repository here instead. Okay. So, currently, it's not empty. So, we cannot actually uh, create if a, a repository if it's not generated by our GitHub desktop. Okay. So, let's try to redo the steps again. I'm going to uh, add local repo. Choose. Okay, let me just try to delete this file first. Okay, then this time what we need to do is we are going to uh, create um, sample repo underscore two. Or that's the local path, or we can click um, okay, cancel, and click file, then add local repository. Okay, let's try to select choose. I'm going to click here again. HD Docs Web Projects. Then set to click here new. Then folder. Okay. Sample repo two. Okay. Then select. So this doesn't appear. Okay, let's say would you like to create? Let's say to create select. Okay. So um what we basically did, okay, let me just try to uh, create the steps again. File. Then, um, clone. we don't need to clone, by the way. We click File, then Add Local Repo, Choose, okay, Select Folder. Then we have here, would you like to create a local repository here instead? We need to click lo Local Repo. So this is actually our new repository, Sample Repo underscore 2. Okay, so will we ask also, uh, let's try to add a readme file by checking initialize this repository with a readme okay, then we have here create repo okay, so currently it's creating repo okay so um we have here publish repository okay, let's say to publish okay by clicking publish we have here a confirmation if you wanted to publish the repository then we have here click publish repo okay okay now, um, let's try to go back to our uh, GitHub page. Click um, my name. Okay. Uh, repositories. Okay, so as you've noticed, you already have here sample repo and sample repo underscore two. Okay. So we just created 17 seconds ago. Now, um, going back here again. Okay, so since we already have it here. Okay, we also have created these two files, git attributes in readme. So I to create a new file, a new file, then save sample.php. Okay. okay, just dismiss, echo. Generated by um, say get or Windows. Okay. So we to go back here again. Okay, so we have already here um, sample.php. Okay, let's, we can click commit. Okay, let's say to click commit. Then we have here push. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, open this file or this repository. Then we already have it here sample.php okay now what about if you wanted to delete the repository let's say for example we wanted to delete uh, sample underscore repo 2 so basically we can go to settings uh, scroll down here then um, we have here danger zone okay so we can click this one change repository or if you want to make it public you can click change visibility okay so let's try to delete okay i'm going to click here to delete this repository um please type there's a confirmation here okay let's try to copy to confirm 
Click here. Then I understand the consequences. Delete this repository. Okay. So I also need to specify the password. Let's well, try to specify the password. Okay. Okay. I need to copy, paste, confirm. Okay. So let's try to find the repository. Sample. There's only one sample repo to. There's also one sample repo here. So sample underscore repo 2 is already deleted. Okay. So uh, let's try to delete this uh, repo also. Then um, again, going back here, settings. Try to go down. No? Or let's let me just try to show you guys how to rename. Okay, we have here rename. This is uh let's try to make it you can actually change let's try to uh repos okay. then click rename so it's already become repos now let's try to delete i'm going to click settings again then go back here somewhere at the bottom then okay we have here changed visibility now uh make this one public let me just try to show you okay just try to type Okay, and send change the visibility. Okay, so this uh, particular um, repo is already public. As you can see, it's already public. Now, um, so I to go back down, say so to delete. Okay, say so to copy. And say so to type. And the consequences. Okay, so it's already deleted. So that's actually just a very basic guide on how to use um, your GitHub. So there are also other uh, similar um, applications out there, such as Bitbucket. But in my case, I use GitHub because for me, GitHub is the simplest one uh, to use. It doesn't have. It's not as complicated compared to others. And also, there's what we call there's uh, what we call as um, GitHub desktop which is also quite easy to use that's why i chose this uh github over maybe bitbucket or any other applications out there so one of the things also that i've noticed with github is that uh, uh it as far as i know there's no limit to the number of repository that you can actually have but the thing is i think it only has a maximum of uh two gig or there's a number a limit to the number of uh, applications that can be uploaded at the same time that's one of the downside by the way of using um, github although i think if i'm going to use the paid version uh there's actually if i'm going to go back here there's also file then you repo no not that one file then clone we have here Git, github enterprise if i'm going to use github enterprise which is i think this one is a paid version then I think the, I, I would be able to access um, an even um, uh, much better feature of what I'm currently using, which is uh, the, the free version of GitHub. But in my case, um, GitHub.com is already enough. So um, if you're a developer and you wanted to store your um, applications online, then you can use GitHub. Or if you're a Microsoft user, then you can also use uh uh, TFS or you can use Bitbucket or any other um, so, uh, any other um, cloud services out there.